the purpose of our conference was really to put together a community of people who are working um, on an issue or a set of issues around food law and policy. The interesting part about our conference is that it's, it's a relatively new field, at least from a legal perspective. And so uh, the major impact I think that our conference is going to have is on sort of creating the linkages to put that community together in, particularly in the Canadian context, and then to draw those links out uh, internationally. So the central product of our conference on food law and policy is to really uh, start kind of, sort of uh, defining the domain of what this field might look like. And so that's a sort of foundational contribution, I think, to um, uh, uh, building up expertise, building up institutional capacity, uh, building up um, resources for student learning in that area, all part and parcel of getting a group of people together just to think about the big questions in a particular discipline. Uh, I'm the conference chair for the upcoming second international conference on end-of-life law, policy, ethics and practice for students who are pursuing the, the legal profession. They're going to see the difference that interdisciplinarity makes in action at this conference. And I think they're going to be blown away by the richness of the dialogue that you get when you explicitly plan to bring together your legal, ethical, clinical and exper empirical experts on a topic with the administrators and the regulators who actually need to work through implementation and enforcement. There's so much about attending law conferences that is beneficial for our students but also for legal academics and for lawyers uh, as well. For students it can be a great experience to meet uh, people from all walks of legal life. Lawyers, academics, uh, judges, government and policy people, and it really broadens out their legal education to interact with people like this. Attending conferences also helps me to become a better teacher. The more engaged I am in my field, the greater depth and breadth my research has, and the more I've got to bring to the table in the classroom, and the better I'm able to serve the students. I think it's easy to sometimes underestimate the impact and significance and importance of conferences, in part because you think of them as events. They're sort of one-time things and people come. That's not been my experience of conferences at all. They wind up being really important uh, moments of gathering, catalysts for people's thinking about issues. But more than that, in terms of the, the um, outputs and the impacts of conferences, there's certainly the people that you meet, the opportunities you have to make connections, the ways it inspires your work. But there's also also real and significant opportunities to be capturing what happens when we bring people together and ask for them to think deliberately and to share intentionally about a particular problem or piece of work where we can capture that and we can use that and share that as a continuing source of education and knowledge uh, so that it has a broader footprint and broader impact. <laughs>